States. And we came together like never before. We stood up not as Republicans against Democrats, but as Virginians. We stood up and said, no more. No more. No more. Folks, thanks for hiring me. Thank you for hiring Winsome Earl Sears as our great lieutenant governor. Thanks for hiring Jason Yarez as our great attorney general. And thanks for hiring a majority in our House of Delegates. Well, we went to work right out of the box. Right out of the box. And over the last 21 months, we watched Virginia move watched her move, we started out by making sure that parents are at the head of the table in their children's lives. We know Virginians didn't sign up as parents to co-parent with the government. They're your children. Children belong to families, not to the state. We went to work right away make decisions for their children, to make a decision whether your child wears a mask, to have full transparency into the curriculum, and you can see if there are sexually explicit materials and you wanted to get rid of them, you can have them removed from your child's curriculum if that's what you want. We went to work right away to raise expectations in schools as opposed to lower them. We could raise the ceiling and the floor. We went to work right away to provide choice within the school system. Today, we have over 25 lab schools in motion, so kids next year will be able to take a different route. Folks, we went to work to make sure the tax-driven scholarships were available to those families who couldn't afford to choose to go outside the public school system. That's what we went to work to do, to make sure that kids have the best chance in the to have a great education. We went to work right away to get the cost of living down in Virginia. Over the last two budget cycles, $5 billion of tax relief, $2,200 for the typical Virginia family. And if you're in the military, $4,500 for our military heroes. We went to work right away with back the blue. budget cycle, higher salaries, training, and equipment. We need to make sure that our law enforcement heroes know we stand for you. And I will tell you one law enforcement hero we all stand for, Sheriff Danny Day. And we went to work to make sure that there were a lot of jobs available for Virginians. When we started, Virginia was in the bottom third in the nation in job growth. And today, 21 months later, over that time period, we are now third in the nation in job growth. 225,000 more Virginians are working today than when we started in January 2022. We have the largest workforce in the history of Virginia. More people working than ever. Folks, common sense, conservative policies work. They work. Every single day, we see Virginia moving. And yet, we have a problem. The problem is that the left liberal progressives want to put a stop to all of it. You see, they don't believe in this. They don't believe that parents should be sitting at the head of the table. They believe that bureaucrats and politicians know better than parents. They don't believe that law enforcement should be supported. They actually want to demean and diminish them. They don't believe that it's your money that you're paying in taxes. They believe it belongs to the government. You know how I know? In that first budget proposal we put in in January, the state was running a $3.6 billion surplus. And I said, we got to give a billion of that back to taxpayers. That was my first budget. Yeah. 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 The left liberal Democrats, what they wanted to do is they put no tax relief in. They wanted to spend every single penny. Why? Because they think it's their money, not your money. We're going to stand up and make sure that it is your money. Folks, this is what we deal with every single day.
today. And this is why we are ascending. But folks, we should be at the top of the class right now. Because Virginia will be the very best place to live and work and raise a family. because they have no plan. None. They've got nothing to talk about. They can't talk about job growth. They can't talk about reducing the cost of living. They can't talk about excellence in education. They can't talk about bringing crime down and back in law enforcement. They can't talk about overhauling our behavioral health system so that everybody can get the help they need when they need it at a time when we're in crisis. They can't talk about running government better when we found $1.2 billion in four months, and the next year we found another $1.6 billion that had been appropriated that didn't need to be spent. It's your money, not the government's. They can't talk about any of it. They have nothing to sell other than fear. And that's what the other side is all about. Well, folks, we are the party of hope. We are the party of the future. We are the party of opportunity. We are the party of low taxes. We are the party of a strong defense. We are the party that stands up for parents. We are the party that backs the blue. We are the party that understands that tomorrow is going to be better than yesterday because we are marching towards the future. This is the direction that we all started two years ago, and now it's time for us to finish the journey. Finish the journey by electing Danny Diggs as your next senator. Every yard has an AC Cordosa sign. 
Every yard has a Spirit of Virginia sign. Every yard has a re-elect John Chapman for Virginia sign. This is what we need right here. We need a sign in every yard. Every yard that needs a George Clark, the Board of Supervisor sign. We need to get this done. Because when you see a sign in the yard, what it tells you is, I'm for that candidate. That's the team I'm on. And then someone drives by and says, well, Mary is voting for Dane Diggs. I like Mary. I'm going to vote for Danny Diggs, too. That's what happens, folks. So we need a sign in every yard. We need a bumper sticker on every car. We need a hat on every head. We need a T-shirt on every back. we got to get this done. Third thing we got to do is everybody in here has got to go vote. we got to go vote. Listen, back in 2021, there were 500,000 people that voted for Jason, voted for Winston voted for me who did not come back and vote in 2022 midterms. They stayed out of the race. Now folks, we can't have that number of people on the sidelines. We gotta get everybody out to vote. So if you have not voted, go to secureyourvotevirginia.com, make a plan to vote, get to the polls. Listen, something can happen. You can get in a car, in a fender bender on the way to the polls on November the 7th. Your child could get sick. Could get sick. Something can happen at work. Get out and vote. Get out and vote. Four, once you voted, and we'll take you off the mailing list, you won't get any more phone calls, we'll leave you alone. <laughs> but I need you to go recruit 10 friends to vote. I need you to get out a pad of paper and write down their names. Write down their names, and then you gotta call them and say, hey, Billy, have you voted yet? No, I haven't voted yet. Vote tomorrow. And then call Billy the next day and say, hey, Billy, you voted. He says, no, go pick up Billy in your car and take him to go vote. Get out the vote. Finally, fifth thing. Folks, just include these candidates in your prayers. That's what we're asking. Ask the Lord to wrap them in a hedge of protection. This is hard. This is hard. You got people making up lies about them. You got people spreading untruths about them. You got folks that will do mean things to them. This is hard, but families, pray for them, pray for them. Now folks, we do one through five, you know what happens? We win, we win. And when we win, we just absolutely take the any break off of the Commonwealth of Virginia and we soar. And that's what Virginia deserves. You know, last night I had a great privilege to give a speech to a bunch of patriots. And this speech was reminding me about these core values of this amazing Commonwealth of Virginia that became the core values for, the, for, for America. These amazing values that are handed down by a creator, a God Almighty, that are given to us not by a king and not by a monarch, but by God himself. And then it's our job to understand that these unalienable rights have to be protected, they have to be advanced, they have to be defended. See, every day I have the great privilege to go work in the Patrick Henry building. I mean, come on, the Patrick Henry building. And then I walk across the street and I go into a capital that was designed by Thomas Jefferson. And then I see in the middle of that rotunda a statue of George Washington. And I am struck. I am struck by the power of the voice and the pen and the sword. The voice of Patrick Henry who stood up and said, give me liberty or give me death. He was willing to die not to have the God-given liberty and freedom that we are all endowed by. Patrick Henry who wrote the most immortal words ever written in this hemisphere. That we hold these truths to be self-evident. That all men and women are created equal. That we are endowed by our Creator with certain unalienable rights and among them are life liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And then George Washington, who understood that while these rights are granted to us by an almighty creator, we have to go gain them and then defend them. Folks, that's what this is about. It's about standing up and defending these great God-given liberties. And the way we are doing it is by winning elections because elections have consequences. And the consequences for Virginians for too long were dire. And in 2021, we decided we were going to change the history and the future of this great commonwealth. And the next step for us is to do exactly that. To win this election.
to change the future, to write the chapter together. A chapter that is founded in the great beliefs that we have. Low taxes, low regulations, strong economy, job opportunities for all Virginians, an educational system that teaches our children how to think, not what to think, standing up for law enforcement, making sure we have government that understands that we work for you, not the other way around. Folks, this is where our future is, and we can do this together. And so, what are we going to do? Hold the House, flip the Senate.